Hi. So, since my um, other resin isn't going to show up until um, possibly 10 o'clock tomorrow night, I thought I would just make some of these little UV resin things. They're UV resin because they're very flat. I just don't know what I want to put into it. But maybe I've got some flaky things here. I might try that. Oh, you know what? I think I might just use some ink because I don't trust ink in a good project, so I might as well use it in UV resin. So I've got all these inks here from, it says they're resin pigments. Uh, probably got them from Wish. Or they could have been from, um, Amazon. That's a pretty color. Let me see what we got. Oh, that's a pretty color too. I'm sorry, I'm taking your time. Well, I'm going to need one of those. And I don't know what color that is. I can't read these. I'm not wearing my glasses. So let's fix that and put on these readers. Okay. Lemon yellow. Grass green. Oh. Yellow. The difference between lemon yellow and yellow. Um, it's the yellow looks orange actually. But let's see. They've been just sitting around. Fluorescent green. Orange. Yeah, the orange does look a lot like yellow. But it looks more yellow sitting beside the orange. Uh, golden yellow, coffee. I'm just throwing these all over the place. Sky blue. I like sky blue. I like green. White's always good. Rose red. Peacock blue. Black and purple. Maybe I'll do a purple for this bit. I'm going to have to do make these. There's four and I need nine. So a few times. Well, no, I just need eight because there's always going to be an empty hole, right? Is that right? Can't even remember how to play this. So we go tick. Tack. Yeah, it has to go this way. Okay, so let's get the Robinson out. And I'll get it into a little mixer. Oh, look at I sealed the end of this thing that I accidentally opened because I'm silly. Okay, what color? What color? What color do we want the board? Let's go with... Blue, golden yellow. How about we go with pink? It's not a traditional color, but let's get some resin in here first. How much do I need? I have no idea. I usually check, but I've had this tray for so long. I'll do a little bit of this. I have mixers somewhere. Four. That's probably more than I need. But we'll see how it goes. Anyway, obviously I'm talking to you, so I'm not wearing a mask. And this stuff doesn't, I mean, just because it doesn't smell doesn't mean 
It's not going to hurt your lungs, but where is my spray bottle? Oh, I think I broke it. Oh, dear. oh there it is. Okay, I did break one. Okay, let's pour some of this in here. Well, that's pretty. Then I'm going to have to pick out really pretty colors for the um, hexes and hoes. Oh, that sounded terrible, didn't it? Okay. So if I mix up a little bit more than that, one day I'm going to squirt this all over myself because of the way I pick it up. Look at all those bubbles in there. This is UV, so I'm not going to put as much in this time. I think three ought to do it because it looks like there's already four in there. That was probably six. Okay. I just have to get the color mixed in. UV resin doesn't need to be mixed. Oh, oh dear. I think I need some more resin in there. Either that or I grabbed the wrong pigment. No, oh, I grabbed pink. So, what are you guys doing today? It's Saturday here. Right now it's Saturday, I mean, not here. Everywhere, I'm sure, except for those future places like Australia. Um, it's got to be Sunday there. But anyway... That's really weird the way that the time thing works. But, oh yeah, that's a different color totally. I only have to make it go high enough to get between those things, I think. But right now, what I'm going to do is oh dear oh that's okay it's not going to hurt anything i'm going to spray this i use some um, it says 70 percent but i buy 99 percent and i just um in big bottles and then i just reuse these bottles so i'm gonna have some bubbles for sure I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to do. I really don't. Okay, so we need a bit more for sure. And then it's going to have to go over. Okay. There is bubblies everywhere. I should have brought a lighter. If you don't smoke, you don't really use lighters all that often, but I do have some long ones for candles. It is a lot of alcohol. I should be wearing a mask just to get rid of the alcohol. Okay, that's not enough either. I didn't think this would take up that much, but it does apparently. Okay, go easy. One, three. Okay. She probably should have shaken it before I put it in there. But that's what it's about. I had Swedish meatballs for lunch and uh, they weren't that good. They were frozen, first of all. And I had them with egg noodles. And it just, I don't know. It seems that every processed food I buy lately, uh, the last two years anyway, seem to have um, something spicy in them, all of them. And I don't like that because they have an ulcer. 
And I really, you know, well, this looks like a different color again, but we'll get it in there. Just have to go to the top of the lamp. I think maybe two more ought to do it. I should have used a big the thing that is right there is what I should have used. And maybe this is just too big for UV resin. I don't know. But anyway. Okay, mixing up some more. You know what? I don't know why I did that. I guess I thought I'd put it completely away and I did not. So many bubbles. If it was a nice light color, those tiny bubbles would look kind of cool in it, but it's not that light a color, I think. I'm sorry, I'm speaking very low because I'm talking to myself. <laughs> oh dear. So, yeah, that's me. You live alone, you either talk to your cat or you talk to yourself. And my pat cat passed away one week short of her 20th birthday. Two years ago she passed away. I still miss her an awful lot. I really, really do. But as far as getting another pet, I just don't think I can take the heartbreak anymore. So I'm going to try that much. Because we just have to get it to flow over that part so that we have the indents. So where's my pink? I'm just going to put one drop in this time. Yes, I think I, I have no idea if this is going to work the way I want it to. But we'll see. I'm really mixing in the bubbles, that's for sure. We're playing, and that's the important thing we've got to play. Just trying to get rid of some of that really dark, dark stuff. Well, it looks like I am going to be mixing up one more. Okay. I should just take this little nozzle off and just <sighs> that's really hard on the thumbs. I still have another bottle of this, so I'm not going to be afraid of running out of it. I just didn't think this thing would take so much epoxy. This is crazy. And again, just one drop. I have to do a lot of curing on my mat, too. The nice thing about UV resin is it's not going to cure unless the sun gets on it or you use a UV torch or flashlight or whatever you want to call it. Okay. Oh, thank you for following. I suppose I could have just poured it all in here and then mixed it in. Oh, don't do this to me, please. Just, just a little bit more. Maybe 
maybe we can streak it around and see how that turns out. So I was going to make Danish pastries today because I have some puff pastry and I have some apples and everything else I need. Every time I think, oh, I should make Danish today, I just don't bother doing it. So I've got to... get doing things like that. I have to make some more bread and I have to start baking for Christmas. I like baking. I really do. It's just that, like I said the last video, I have been so tired lately. I just want this to sort of streak around and make it look like it was intentional. starting to look a little on the mildly marbled side but I'm just gonna leave it for a second yeah why not and then where's your lid okay just put that over there I want to move you over here just because I want to make sure that I don't stick my hand in this stuff. And it'll come off the mat a lot easier if I cure it. You can see all the spots on the mat. Oh, maybe you can't. I can where it's been wiped over and over and over again. Oh, it's still sticky. Yuck, yuck. But we can work over here. So what I'm going to do is, I can leave that till after. I'm really wasting you guys' time. I do appreciate you watching. And I really hope you'll consider subscribing. I'm happy, whether you subscribe or not, I'm happy to have you here. But it's always nice to have subscribers because, um, uh, what's her name? YouTube likes that. YouTube likes that a lot. Okay. Then we have to think about what colors we want in here. And I think they're going to have to be pastel -y types. So maybe a little bit of purple and maybe purple and green or blue and green might be nice they'll certainly be noticeable this is probably going to take a while oh and when i was talking about the true micas the other day this is the kit that i got the true micas the true reds the other day this is the kit that I got from Mad Micas back when they were coming up with their red before they actually had a red blend. And it contains Brazen Hussy, Spicy Tomato, and Voodoo. And if you um, use them equal portions of all three, you will get that beautiful red. So if you already have those colors, if you have done soap making and you're doing resin now, then it'll be easy for you to make that. But I believe that nowadays that they um, actually have the true red blend. And I still get their um, things on my email, but I haven't actually gone into their website to see whether they do or not because I was so busy with diamond painting and everything else there are going to be bubbles in here and I don't know if it's going to bother me this if it was a little bit smaller would make a nice little dangler because you could hang the board and then up uh, put a light chain or something and hang the X's and O's from it or across it or something I think that would make a really cute thing for a purse, but it's a little too big for that. 
so while ooh, the smells really coming off of it but it's nowhere near um, hardened yet so maybe what I'll do is I will grab another one of those little things of which I should have many yes here's one that's a little bit bigger and uh, well, flatter anyway, but I like it because they're very, very flexible. So I think we'll go with um, a green. That's peacock blue and sky blue, I think. And let's find a dark green, uh, grass green. Okay, sky blue and grass green. Alrighty. So I can only make four at a time, but it's UV resin, so what does it matter, right? Okay. Where is the... There it is. You out of the way for a minute. And I should have wiped that out. Baby sheets. I buy more baby wipes than somebody with babies, I swear. But... It says that they're flushable, but then I've heard that you should never, well, I wouldn't flush them anyway because I'm not in the bathroom, that you should not flush them anyway because apparently, even though they're flushable, they're not biodegradable or something. I don't know. I'm sure nobody that has a septic tank would ever use them. Okay. This here. And I guess we'll start with the blue. Now, do I want the X's to be blue or green? Hmm. Meeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Okay, green for the X's. And I'm not going to put in too much this time. Huh. Let's do the blue first then. Okay, just three drops, I guess. Oh, that's pretty, pretty color. A very pretty color. I wish it looked as bright in the camera, and maybe it does. Maybe it's just when I look in the little tiny camera monitor that I can't see how pretty it is. But it is a very pretty color. <sighs> now I'll put you there for now. And this was going to be the O's. And then I don't know why that won't open. That's fluorescent green. I don't like using fluorescents a lot, but you use what you got, right? Okay. Still got a little bit in it, but I better not do that because I will make a mess. It should take as much as the O's. So you saw, uh, maybe you didn't, but I hope you did, saw my um, fixing the octopus and the teddy bear and how it... Um, it's so flexible. I don't know what's wrong with it. That's black. Uh, maybe lavender. I, I, I'm going to have to cut that. Oh, 
Come on. No, I guess nothing I want is going to work, and I don't think I have a needle up here. Oh, not that I'll be able to find easily, that's for sure. should always have something sharp, but I don't. Okay. So, I don't want to do red. Peacock. I'm not really using sky. And we were using, we were going to use grass green. I wonder if regular green would. I'm sorry, guys. There's a hole there, but nothing is working the way I want it to. Oh my gosh. No, I'm gonna have to find something sharp. I know I've got something sharp. There's something sharp. It's very sharp. Okay. Let's try this. Oops, I'm gonna cut myself. Don't cut myself. Okay, that feels, yes, come on, you can do it. <laughs> Not really though, I'm going to need something more needly, but we'll see how this works out. My goodness, what a day. Huh. I think I can add some more in there. Okay, let's try this. I'm sounding frustrated and I'm not really. I'm having a wonderful day and I hope you are too. Whoa, that was a little bit adventurous. Okay, bubbles go away. I kind of wish this was um, two-part epoxy so that I could just let it cure itself. But that's not the way this game works, is it? Okay, where's that blue? Seems when the bubbles come out, it settles a bit. Okay. Oops. I'm going to have to clear that up. I'll just stick my fingers in. Oh no, I didn't want to do that. Help, help, oh no. I hope you guys have as much fun doing your crafts as I have doing mine because I'm telling you this is extraordinary. Oh no, oh no, so much fun. And I've got too much there as well. And just take a little bit off. And that's a nice mess. So how are we going to do that? I'm going to wrap this around my pinky. Kind of. Okay. There. My goodness. You must... I'll think that I'm a little bit nutty, and maybe I am, because now i got to put some more in. In the meantime, okay, just stay there. Don't overflow. Well, it has a bit, but I don't know if I can even do this now. Because once you start curing it, you're not going to get the bubbles out. This is, I think, in hindsight, that this was a little bit too, um, 
big to do with UV resin, but I want it to do something. <laughs> this doesn't, this still has a lip on it. Huh. Well, we'll see if we can fix it or if it needs fixing. I don't know, is that going to make it thinner than it should be? Oh dear. Because I was thinking I would have to sand it down, and now I'm thinking there's not going to be enough in it. But we'll cure what we have so far. And uh, it looks like it's even pulling away, which wouldn't surprise me at all because pouring this much UV resin and I'm not a tutorial but from my experience pouring this much UV resin is going to you're going to get warps and you're going to get it to pull away and it's going to not look great but maybe I'll just have to take it out back and leave it in the sunshine but I don't know where my resin lamp is, but I don't have anything to plug it into up here. So, because the computer is downstairs. I do have an extension for a USB, but, huh. I don't know. This is very wet still. I saw the prettiest pattern on um, Pinterest, I think it was, and it was some, um, I don't know the maker's name, but she was making coasters, or he was making coasters, somebody was making coasters, and they had like this beautiful satin design inside, oh my gosh, such talent, there is so much talent in this world, and uh yeah, I think the green is fluorescent, but that's okay. It doesn't matter as long as it's a different color than the blue. I don't really like fluorescence because I was traumatized as a child. <laughs> At night, fluorescence, um, well, obviously, they absorb the sunshine, and then at night, they fluoresce. And my mother had this big old um, prayer beads, big old prayer beads that were fluorescent. And she had them hanging over a picture in her bedroom, and every night that I saw it, it would just freak me out, and I don't know why. Um, you know, little statues of saints and things like that that, that are fluorescent. It's, um, and that's all I think when, even when I hear the word fluorescent is those things, but, well, these are getting there. Anyway, um, I don't know if I want to hold you guys up too long. I'm going to have to make some more of these, so maybe, um, maybe you don't want to hang around here. You can fast forward it, of course, but um, I think I'm getting bored with it. <laughs> this is the most boring part of UV resin, is just curing the UV resin. Now, um, I could get one of those big machines, but they're kind of expensive, and the little one I have seems to work fine for like little projects. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. I still have fun doing it. I hope you have fun watching. I hope you have fun when you're doing your projects. And, you know, regardless of what happens, it's all part of the part of the thing that we do. So, well, maybe I should get a cat. <laughs> Just forget everything. But no, I gotta cure these up too. I gotta remember that or I'm gonna get it all over everything. I don't wanna get it on my... That's starting to feel good. Even UV resin will get hot when it's curing. Not as hot as regular resin, but it will. 
Okay, these are starting to get done. I don't know if it takes fluorescent longer or shorter. There's definitely some kind of energy that's in them. Maybe, I don't know. Like I said, I'm not a tutorial. I'm just having fun doing what I like and I'm hoping that you're enjoying it too. And don't forget to get outside every now and then and get some of that free vitamin D. And speaking of free things, you know, you can hit the subscribe button for free. Um, I've had this channel for almost two years, but I haven't really been active like the first year. I guess I was still trying to find my way, but yeah, I do appreciate everybody that subscribed. And hopefully there'll be a lot more. This is, if this looks on the front the way it looks on the back, this is going to look pretty interesting. And by interesting, I don't mean pretty. I mean interesting. <laughs> well, we'll see what happens. But I should have been a little bit more prepared for it. So, yeah, i got to still find out why that bear would be so flexible when everything else that was made with the very same resin is so hard. It's, it's, it amazes me that that can happen unless there wasn't enough, like it was such a small amount of resin that it didn't get hot, hot enough to cure. I'm going to have to look into that, but I'm sure that there's somebody out there that knows stuff and maybe I can find something out online. Usually if I want to find something out online, I go to a YouTube channel, you know, how to how to fix your coffee maker, how to put caulking around a bathtub, how to fix the float in your toilet, all these things that I don't have anyone to help me with. I, I trust these experts on YouTube, of which I will never be one. Um, maybe, who knows, but I <laughs> have my doubts. You don't get... You know, there's a point where you're at your highest intelligence and then everything is downhill from there. Well, I just had my 68th birthday, so I don't think I'm climbing that hill. I do like to do things, though. Still reading, still doing other things, still getting out every now and then. Oh, this is getting really close. Anyway, what I'm going to do... Is I'm going to turn it off here, I think, and um, maybe, and then I'm going to, I'm thinking of coming back, and, because I still have to make more of the um, X's and O's, and so I'll probably have a lot more resin to play with, and maybe we can... Um, do something else, but I'm really glad you're here. I'm really glad you're watching. I would feel like uh, absolute Looney Tunes if I thought for a fact that I was just sitting here talking to myself. But, um, yeah, so I'd like to imagine that you're watching me a bit and working along on your products and answering me back and yelling at the screen and saying no don't do it that way <laughs> but i'm i am glad to have you here oh dear oh no what have i done now i seem to have gotten a little bit of something maybe off my no thank god yeah, off my sweater maybe Yeah, still tacky. Anyway, I think that we've gone on too long. I want to have some coffee. And I think I'm going to need a break from this. Then I'll come back and I'll unmold it. And I'll make some more. Maybe I can do it all in one video. So we'll see how much of this you guys can take. <laughs> anyway, and I might um, put a little bit more pink on here just because it's shrinking 
it's getting lower so um, we'll figure it out anyway I'll be back soon enjoy your coffee as well or tea okay I'm back and I went and got my other flashlight oh what a mess I've got here now but oh wrong one Okay, there we go. Yes. So this one has four settings. Um, and it's steel. And I got it from Amazon. Don't remember how much it was. I just ran up the stairs and I'm out of breath. Can you believe that? So I don't know how much it was, but there was two in a pack. So, um... I uh, I gotta put this down for a minute. Whenever I'm not using a flashlight, I always loosen the um, battery pack because I don't want the batteries to run out. So there we go. Now we've got two on it, and it seems to be working. Let me just adjust this one a little bit. I'd like a more concentrated thing. I don't know if it makes any difference, but we'll see. Okay, I'm going to do that. No, they're not quite cured. I'm sorry if that flashing bothers anyone. I tried to go through it really fast. So, I really should, I guess, invest in one of those big nail curing uh, UV lamps. Ah, maybe in time. Maybe if YouTube ever gets around to giving me some money, but that's about probably a year away before I have enough subscribers. But we'll see. Oh, maybe more than a year. <laughs> For the first year I was on YouTube, I think I had 10 subscribers. And then um, this year will be up in July. And I think I got 90 more subscribers this year. So you need 500 for basically... Um, nothing I think you get to add a button and then at 1000 um, you can apply for AdSense which means that they'll give you a little bit of money um, from ads that run on your channel but I mean they're running ads on my channel anyway I've seen them myself so I don't know I don't know I'm gonna do the back too because why not Boy, you'd think this would be faster if I had the two-part resin. If I had done it with two-part resin, um, I could have just poured it, turned off the camera, turned on the camera, taken it out of the mold, and we'd be all done here. But this is life, and it is fun, and it is relaxing. So I finished my coffee. I'm really tired. I don't know why I've been so tired this month. But I have been so tired. I'm going to try to unmold this. Oh, look at that. And I was going to make it thicker. But I didn't because I'm not sure that I should do that with some... Um... Oh, it's coming out. My goodness. Oh, no, it's not. It's going back in. <laughs> it is not cured. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, there's a huge bubble there now. Oh, dear. Oh, my gosh. I've really made a mess now. Come on, bubble. Go somewhere else. That's it. I've made big bubbles. Look at the size of that. Oh, they're everywhere now. I let air into it. 
again. I don't know how to get the air out of it because it's just liquid. But if I could make them smaller, then I'm just making it bigger. Oh dear. Well, that was silliness. So I guess um, you can... Is that even on UV? Okay, that's UV. Well, that wouldn't have worked anyway. Come on, get out. Get out, you bubbles. Oh, dear. Come on, get out. Okay, I got some of them out. Put that one. Oh, look at them all. This is horrendous. Okay, we're going to use this as just an experiment. <laughs> I wonder if these little guys would come out. At least have a look at them. They're not quite ready, but they're not looking too... Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing. So I've taken out this little guy, but it's not cured yet. And I don't like putting UV on my skin because that's bad. Oh, I definitely have to get a lamp up here. No, oh, don't fall down. Oh my goodness, you all must think that I'm such an airhead and sometimes I really am. Okay, that one's cured. This one's almost cured. They just feel a bit softish. This one is a bit sticky. It's got a little piece on that we don't need. Okay. So I still have to get this um, board dried up. Oh, and while I was, um, before I went downstairs, I uh, poured a little of the extra stuff in here. So he'll be forever. I'm not worried about him. He was just the extra stuff. Which I guess I could have kept and made more X's and O's. Oh, look at the size of that bubble. It is horrendous. Absolutely horrendous. Oh, well. It sure as heck is going to look handmade. Because no factory would ever... Come on out of there. Look at all those. I don't know if you can even see this. There is a huge bubble right at this corner. Yes, you can see it. And then there's just bubbles everywhere. That When we get it out of here, we'll have a much better look at it. And I think I won't do this mold again unless I'm using two-part resin because I think it's just too darn deep for um, UV resin. And this little bear guy he doesn't have any, uh, I just poured him all over there because he wasn't cured. He doesn't have any bubbles. Oh, those bubbles are still moving. I'm going to set a light on where those bubbles are. And see if that helps any. Oh, I'm, this is <laughs> this is such a what's it called? A train rack. This is absolutely a train rack. My goodness. I almost feel like crying. I'm not going to because this is all just in fun and I'm learning along with everybody else. There. 
Yeah, if I can move the bubbles, it's definitely not cured. I wish I could move that one right out of here, but I think that one has healed pretty much, healed, um, hardened pretty much. I'm definitely going to save up my money and get one of those great big nail um, uh, curing thingies, curing lights. And UV resin, I think, is like nail resin. <laughs> and I think that's why it's never meant to be poured this thick. This is about, I'm going to say an eighth of an inch, maybe. Maybe a quarter of an inch, but I don't think so. See, I can't push my finger into it. But I can push those bubbles around so I know it's not cured yet. Let's... Yeah, this feels soft to me, so I don't... I don't know. So, I'm sorry for taking all your time. This is not what I intended to do. Anyway, I think, you know what, I think I'm going to call this a um, train rack. And I think that um, I'm going to call it done for the day. Um, I would like to take it out for you, but it's just not... Well... Let's try because these guys are almost cured and they're the same thickness. Let's try. Let's give it the old college try. Okay. Just need a place here where I can set it down without getting crud all over it. Okay, so what we've got here is the um, thing that these go into. Don't get stuck together. So, yeah. Anyway, um, let's pretend that it's all cured and uh, go on with our day. I will make some more of this. I'll do it with two-part resin though and uh, at least I had something to do today and I, I'm really sorry if I wasted all of your time and <laughs> don't even want to ask you to subscribe now but um, yeah I'll get this cleaned up. Maybe we'll have to wait till Monday evening depending on what time the Amazon delivery is tomorrow. But the last time I looked, all it said was before 10 p.m. So you can tell it's Christmas because usually it's uh, before 9 p.m. So I guess they're just working longer hours now. I really hate that huge bubble there. But you know what? If there was a bubble like that in every corner, then um, it would look like it was meant to be there. So we will see. Anyway, thank you so much for being here. I'm so sorry this turned out the way it did. But you know what? Not everything is going to be perfect. And we're all going to have these little train racks. So... Um, maybe I'll get a bear that doesn't bend out of it. Anyway, have a great weekend. Thank you so much for being here. Bye-bye now.